Hey everyone, it's Paul Hamilton again from UTB. Uh, for this one, this is our fourth walkthrough of Vision Pro. This time we're gonna look at the Sketchfab website. So we're gonna look at 3D models. Now, I'm gonna jump into Sketchfab just in a browser here with my window, and you can see here that I've logged in, top right hand corner, free to log in, but you get access to a whole range of different models. Now these are my models, but you can search for any kind of models, architecture, um, a whole range of different things. If I tap on one of those models and I've signed in, it allows me to have a look at that 3D model when that finally loads. And what I can do within a window in Vision is I can kind of resize that, I can make that bigger, and I can do all those wonderful things, which is pretty cool in itself. But you'll notice because I've signed down, down here, I've got a download model. Now if I download that as a USDZ file, it's gonna come up with this window. For those that are familiar, augmented reality on iPad or iPhone, that'll come up in AR. But here it's gonna give me preview like it does in a Mac OS. But if I view in my space, have a look at that. Look, looks pretty cool. I can do my resizing, which is awesome. And I can start to play around with the window. I can move that window over here and I can concentrate on my 3D model here, which is great. Now, on the top of your Vision Pro, there is a little dial and this is super, super cool. If you reach up to your headset, and twist your dial, it changes your environment from my living room here, here I go here, if I twist that dial on top of the headset, into a 360 degree view of a different environment. Now this is super cool. It kind of suits my June 3D model, right? <laughs> um, but I just love that fact that I can resize, I can do all these different things, but then I've got the ability to transform my augmented reality space where I can have pass through and I can see my living space. Now you've got to be super careful with this uh, in regard to bumping into things. I also noticed that as I walked closer to physical items that they kind of, the transparency changed a little bit. They gave me a little bit of a warning, which is great, but it is in com completely and amazingly um, an engaging and immersive space. So you've got to be careful where you're walking around. So this is basically a Sketchfab website. I've logged in, let me turn that dial down a little bit. Look at that, love that transition by the way. And basically, because I've signed in, I'm able to download models. You can look for architecture, you can look for models that support your curriculum or your syllabus. Um, you can look for a range of different things. And even more importantly, you can load your own 3D models up to Sketchfab so other people can access it. So if I close that down now, you can see that's a great way of using 3D models and external websites to, um, to view 3D models. Now, I wanna show you one thing. How am I recording my Vision Pro screen? How do I mirror or airplay, see that little green dot there? That's the green dot that pops up when you look up. And if I use my eye tracking and I tap or click on that, it brings up the control panel, which took me a little time to go through. So what I might do is show you what happens when I click on that. So I've got that just paused, uh, that image, so you can see it. Sometimes a little bit difficult to find um, as I get more um, familiar with Vision Pro, I'm sure I'll be able to find that. There it is there. So this is basically what we've got in regard to our control panel. You can see it's all the same as Mac and iPad. I can record my screen. I can change the brightness. I can look at notifications. I can mirror to my Mac or my iPad and maybe record off that screen. But I thought I'd just share that with you as well. So that's how we're actually recording these walkthroughs. I hope you found this useful. Don't forget to get in contact with us if you're exploring Vision Pro for your school, education, higher ed, or company. And we would love to support you. Paul Hamilton here from UTB.